I'm so thirsty, man. Jalen, what are you drinking? It's water. No, it's in that water. Minerals, salt, and metals. Oh, oh there is. And chemicals, runoff, and fluoride. Wow. <laughs> the heck is a zero? What's a zero water? All right, guys, enough checking around. Let's get on with the real video. So zero water reached out to us and gave us this zero water picture. Right, Jay? Yeah. And we're going to do a review on the tap water with the zero water and see which one is better. This is what zero water sent us. We have the filter here, and then we have the zero water pitcher, and then we have the TDS meter. So this awesome filter came with our pitcher um, that zero water sent to us. Um, this filter has five stages of filtering your water and making it clean. The first stage is the coarse filter. You can kind of see it, it's a little visible from the top. It's just this coarse fabric. And this basically takes off just like straight up dirt. Um, then it goes down to about here. Right here is the distributor. Um, this minimizes the contact time. Um, the third um, is another multi-layer system about right here. Oh, man, I wish they made these things clear. The third is another multi-layer system. What this does is it uses activated carbon, which is already in the filter, to de to um, take out like uh, chemicals like uh, chlorine. So that's what um, the activated carbon does. After that, you have the non-woven membrane. This uh, takes out dirt that still got through here. And it's just at the bottom, this little cone shape. And then the water drips out through this teensy weensy weensy hole. And then you have clean water. So this is what you gotta do is to put the zero water pitcher together. So first, you have to take this off. And then you have to get this out. And then, you gotta screw this off. And then you got to put the filter under the bottom like this and screw it. That part's no, no. Oh, you got to screw that on tight or else water will leak out of the sides. There you go. Now go throw this in the trash. And then you can put the water in there. So, um, I just filled these up with water, and now I'm going to tap water inside the zero water, the zero pitcher. Just doing that, we're going to check the TDS meter of normal tap water that I was drinking. Tap water, um, if you didn't know, has a lot of totally dissolved um, solids, or TDS. Um, this is really bad for you, it can actually make you sick. So this pitcher holds about 20 cups. It drips. So slow. God, they're like different wow. colors. Like this one's like yellowy and has a lot of bubbles in it. This is just like clear and crisp. Let's check it out. 96. Zero. Zero, she got zero. Wow. That's cool. Wow. <laughs> it's called zero water for a reason. So when should the people change the filter, Jay? Well, it's recommended that you change the filter once it gets to 006, aka buy a new one of these. Um, the reason um, you gotta change it when it gets to 006 is because that's when it starts to taste and smell like chlorine. Yeah. You don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you guys know that Zero Water sent this um, picture to us. And before my family been drinking a lot of Zero Water for like two years. And if you don't want to get a big one like this, you can get a tiny one like this. So remember, if you want to buy any of these products from Zero Water, there's links in the description to the Zero Water website. If you want to go check them out, uh, we recommend you do. Also, there's sponsored annotation links uh, right below this video. You'll, you'll see like shop Zero Water. So make sure you guys go out and get you guys um, a Zero Water picture so you can stop 
drinking bad water, like tap water, and you can Bath drink this. water until it's... You can start drinking zero water. Fresh water. So, so remember, if you want to buy any of these products for yourself, go to the annotations below this video. There's tons of supplies of zero water at your local target. So thanks for watching, and bye, bye Cheeky! cheeky.